welcome. I did not have an inch, but I finally had the time to check out the arid pack, the new animal pack for Planet Zoo. And with finally time, I mean, it came out yesterday, but I wasn't home yesterday, so today it is. So I'm posting on a Wednesday. Hi, hello, I hope you're not shocked. This is not my usual day, but here we are. And because, like I said, I didn't have the time to check it out so far, I have pre-built this. So the building that you're seeing right now, I built before the pack was even out, but we knew all the animals, so I could build for it anyway, because I kind of had an idea. Um, and uh, yeah, we're building for the donkey, and I was kind of just like basing it off of like the size idea of... of the Chevalsky's horse and uh, I hope that that will work. I haven't tried it out yet because I'm still debating on if I want to do a first reaction video to the animals. Uh, I usually only do that for the packs that also come with building pieces because I'm usually more excited for those. So um, yeah, I'm still debating on if I will do a reaction. That kind of depends also on how quick I am with this and because the last 10 times that I tried to do this voiceover I started coughing. Um, <laughs> I'm a bit behind on my schedule, so you will see if there's a, a, a reaction video to the animals coming out or not. Um, regardless, I will see if the donkeys actually work in this, so it, I don't know more than you do right now, so um, we will see. But we are in our desert zoo, which is a zoo that I started, kind of celebrating the announcement of the pack. And it is a Moroccan inspired zoo because Moroccan architecture is really beautiful. And in the first video, uh, I have said that I really like the courtyards that are in all of the pictures and I love the tiling and whatnot. So we are really putting that to the chest. We're doing a lot of tiling, courtyard, bright colors. It's a very blue build, um, which I find so beautiful. And I hope that we can be more daring with the colors in this. Um, this is a very blue kind of golden yellow and white uh, which is probably what we're going to be using most of the time the entrance was kind of more neutral in desert tones and that is also something that we are going to continue to do but i wanted to introduce a very colorful one for this one because donkeys are really funny and i wanted to do something colorful for them i guess uh, i will admit that this is kind of very much how you would keep a domesticated donkey and they also don't have like outside area now because I don't know what is going to be on the other side of this um, I couldn't really do it so they will get an outdoor area eventually but this already took a long time which is always does when you're building in a new style so um, I said in the last video that I kind of want to keep my videos shorter now uh, because I think that are so more fun to listen to when it comes to the voiceover and it's kind of less stressful for me to make the voiceover <laughs> but uh, so I, I, I did cut it a lot so there's a lot of jumps in this video um, but I, I don't know I didn't want to overdo it and then potentially have to change it later because I don't know what's on the other side of this so I figured you know let's split their exterior not exterior I keep saying that the like the actual habitat from the stables and this is the stables with a little bit of a courtyard thingy in the middle and I think it looks really cool and really playful um, and I guess technically the guests could pet them, um, which kind of, you know, drives home the point that I was kind of going off of domesticated donkeys more. Um, but I, I still think it works. I still think it looks fine um, because to a degree, you know, they will be used to guests anyway when they're in a zoo, you know? So um, I, I guess that's fine. And if not, then well, at least we have a colorful, full, cool building. So. <laughs> Um, yeah, so, okay, uh, what did I want to say? I haven't, I know I did, I, I, I think I did say that yet. Oh, this is going to be one of those voiceovers where I have no idea what I've said because I had to redo it 10 million times already. Um, so I'm sorry if I repeat myself. I'm not sure if I said it, but uh, I think that <laughs> I haven't tried if the donkeys actually work uh, for this because I'm still debating if I want to do a reaction video on them, which I don't usually do. I feel like I have said that before. Well, I don't know. I will see. <laughs> Surprise to myself when I listen back to this, which I sometimes do. Is that weird? I sometimes do listen back on them. Um, especially like a video that came out like a few months ago, I will listen back and I'm like, did you talk weird stuff in that? Like, was that a goat voiceover? Or was it weird? Was it useful? Um, so I'm trying to talk about a lot more about the builds lately, which I, I would say I'm like achieving 50-50 maybe. Um, 
Okay, so uh, the stables, the actual stables, are kind of inspired by like normal horse stables. So they kind of have these like boxes next to each other and they can look out. Uh, I didn't do it in a way where it was closed off because I felt like, you know, okay, they're so kind of wild, you know? Um, and I mean, technically, probably you could be closing them off too. Uh, but I didn't do that for this. And they're not even really close to the inside, but that is more on the technical side of the game that the keepers can go through. So I uh, didn't really close those uh, individual stables. They can kind of move around and the keepers can move around, but uh, that is just more on the, you know, to make the game a bit easier um, and the traversable area a bit better. But uh, yeah, so we're now decorating this little courtyard thing, which <laughs> I have to admit, I'm obviously way more in my element here. You know, I really, really love uh, <laughs> foliage work. So that's uh, kind of the thing that I do a lot more and I'm, I, that is a lot easier to me. I have never done foliage work for desert, um, so this is probably going to be a very lush desert because I'm usually working with a lot lusher, uh, you know, ha habitats. Is that the word I'm looking for? Biomes? I don't know. I'm, I'm not Englishing today. It's, it, it already feels so long ago that I have talked to you, which that is a problem with all the pre-recording. But I'm hoping, okay, so today I'm gonna know how I'm gonna work next month. So I'm hoping that I'm gonna have more time next month. I have a feeling for that. I can't explain it, but like, like I have actual reason to believe it, but it would be too hard to, go, to explain all that. But I do think that I'll have a bit more time on my hands next month, which will probably be filled with doing all the stuff that I couldn't be doing for the last past few months because I didn't have time to do it. Um, but you know some of that stuff will hopefully be the channel um, and uh, yeah we're finishing up this little uh, work and then on the back side you kind of see where the donkeys are going to leave and go to their actual outdoor area so this little yard is kind of more of a you know like a community space <laughs> I don't know uh, so um, there's been really really good response by the way to the first video which I'm so excited about and uh, I have so many idea more ideas now for this little courtyard. Someone suggested a market which we're definitely going to do. I would love, I would have loved, okay, to have a courtyard that is a market and I, you know, I'm not a big fan of monkeys but you know, there was this, I forgot which one it was, but there was a monkey that a lot of people suggested should have been in this pack. If we had a monkey, that would have been so perfect to have the monkey climb above the market. Like have this courtyard thing, the monkeys are on the top floor basically, and then there's a, a market sort of thing going on downstairs and the monkeys climb over it. That would be really cool. I might still do it. Um, I, I don't really know which monkey I would use for that, but uh, I would still think that is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I don't think we have a really, really fitting one. Um, but not all the animals are going to be Moroccan animals anyway, so we can kind of like maybe <laughs> make that work. So uh, yeah, but ah, oh, damn, I forgot to look up. I, I know I had the donkey on my list. I don't think it is native to Morocco. It might be though. Um, I did make a list of what animals I want to use and what animals are actually from Morocco and which ones are just fitting. And I'm not so sure they are. I'm pretty sure they're not. But um, they were the first animal I wanted to build for. And I try in the next few days to kind of build for some of the pack animals, which I'm usually very bad at, I have to admit. Uh, with the Grasslands pack, I think I built for two of them when the pack came out and then kind of never touched it again which we're also going to change, like this is a bit of a spoiler, but hyenas, like striped hyenas are native to um, Morocco. So we will actually get a use out of them this time. So um, very excited for that. And then obviously there's a lot of other animals. And if you do a quick Google search, you're probably gonna know kind of what animals are going to end up here because they're uh, Moroccan. <laughs> and um, yeah, so, um, oh my God, this I was so proud of. Uh, we're kind of making this like, I am missing the English words for that, but kind of out of fabric, this little like curtain situation above the door. And it, it feels so like, so flowy and 
like it is really like in a hot desert and you kind of want to keep the heat out but you want it to look inviting you know so i'm really proud of that and it's made out of the curtains from the tropical pack so who would have thought that we can use our lush little tropical pack in this zoo um but i don't know i feel like the more packs we have especially bulls pa build build packs whenever one's one comes out it, it feels more like, oh, like everything that they added to this game so far just makes sense. Like you, you reuse things all the time and in ways that you didn't think of when the packs came out. And I just love that about that game so much. And I just hope that we're going to get a two, uh, 2024, you know, full year of another DLCs. Like I'll buy it. I don't know. <laughs> just just give us more and uh yeah i i've talked about it before i'm still holding out hope for aquariums and birds um still love would love a petting zoo pack um but i'd also buy just like random animal packs for the next 10 years so you know there's a lot of animals so <laughs> we can go go get at that uh oh and there we are building the ceiling and i was debating cutting it out but um, I kind of kept it in because this is one of those things I think that really, you know, bring an extra little level of detail that could easily be cut out that's not really important, but that a lot of people probably also don't really look at. But I feel like, you know, for the few people who do actually look at it, a, a ceiling that kind of has something to it is really rewarding. And in a lot of pictures that I've seen there's a lot of decoration on the ceiling in these buildings so I definitely want to be good about those <laughs> in this specific zoo but also in general <laughs> but because I'm always bad at placing pl um, lamps so there's that uh, and then the tiling once again coming in as a hero <laughs> this is so good and one little thing here before we going into the real time part which we're obviously always having um, when I did these pillars I really really had to use the bathroom <laughs> I was like I, I really really just want to get the colors done um, which I did and I did change them around a billion times because I couldn't decide because I just wanted to be done and, and finally go pee and I couldn't so um, I'm not really happy with those pillars. I might change them at a later stage. Uh, so just, just, you know, too much information, but you have it now, you know? Now, now you have that information. <laughs> okay, see you in the real time part. All right, so I'd say for now, this looks very empty, almost like a desert, but uh, I think that this will look really, really cool. Um, because there's not much terrain work, we can actually move it if it doesn't fit here in the end. But, oh, there's a new camera mode. I forgot about that. Uh, so now we are a visitor. I hope that some of the donkeys stay inside because I gave them some place to roam outside, but... Let's actually move towards it. I see some donkeys walking around there. Um, very nice with the trees and stuff. Uh, we will definitely have to really work on giving the visitors and the animals a lot of shadow. So this is the ceiling that we were looking at. And I'm aware that it's kind of dark in here, but that is kind of what I wanted. Because like I said, we need a lot of shadow. We are in a desert. Um, and over there, we actually see them. Our beautiful new animals. They are so cute. Donkeys are so cute in general. Um, and I can totally see myself using them as more domesticated donkeys. You know, I'm, I really, really want that. Um, but yeah, I don't know. They're kind of glitching around over there, which is not really like they have a good traversable area. Actually, they can go through all of here. And if we look at it kind of zoomed out, this is really what I wanted to have them give them a lot of shadow even in this area. So this is obviously kind of the close area to the guests and then they are going to have more space to roam outside here, like on the on the back of the building basically. Um, but I wanted them to have a lot of shadows, shadow in here, which is probably, you know, um, why those buildings were built the way that they were. I had to remove one of those stable walls to um, make them exit so they can only you know, the gate is back here and they walk around their stables basically and exit here, um, which is the only way, but I don't know. They don't have to walk that often from the gate, do they? So um, let's actually, you know, go in there, uh, jump the fence, be a bad guest here, um, and look at them from up close. Beautiful. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, 
so I think now some of them are outside actually, where there's absolutely nothing but desert. Um, is it just you? Okay, where's everyone? Oh, hello there. I don't think he's supposed to be there, but I think I also turned off escape, so I don't know what that happened there. But, um, yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. I have not yet reacted to all of the animals, so, um, this is the first time that I'm seeing them. I'm still, I still might do the reaction, uh, and just, you know, mention that I've looked at those guys again. Oh, they're so beautiful. Like, the way that the snout, um, is moving is so... Horse-like, obviously, and, and so cute, and I, I just love horses. Um, but yeah, let's let's take a look into the stables. Uh, in the video, you only saw me build one side, and I still cut out some of the interior stuff, because I just felt like that wasn't really that important. Just, you know, some decoration around. And those are the stables. So they can walk here, um, but they can do that on the other side, so... Uh, I got rid of one of those dividers on those on this side because they can't walk through this gap here. Um, but yeah, so not that much in the backstage department. But um, I still wanted it to have it done in case you know at some point someone tours this and you know feels like looking back there. So I was I was gonna be prepared. Oh, we're in a pillar. Um, I was going to be prepared. Um, so yeah, they can obviously walk around here. Um, and I don't know why they love it in here so much. Um, this is where the gate is. We're gonna have to hide this. Um, but that is a task for another day. Because look how sleepy this boy is. Or this girl, I'm not sure. But, uh, I think... This girl. <laughs> but I think, uh, this is all that I have to show you. She good natured this beauty. And, um, let's actually zoom out here. Um, get another little overview. Uh, the roof, we haven't seen that in the speed build. Uh, and um, yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope that you're still excited for a little Moroccan adventure that we're going to be on. And I hope to bring you more videos on this. I hope that you're uh, excited for that. And obviously more videos on the new Arad pack. Um, thank you so much for watching. Bye!